today in Black Throat. Let's help these guys with cake prints. Time to open fruits. Finally some luck. Got God's chalice after all this time. Time for doking. Dough is so bunt. I got stuck in a wall. Lost the red key card, but still got the fractal. I will show you how to get the Tushita Sword in Black's Fruits. To get the Tushita Sword you have to be in C3, and you have to find the God's Chalice. You can find one by hunting elite pirates. Or collecting chests. There spawns one every 4 hours. After you get the God's Chalice, or someone else gets it, you need to spawn Indra. You need the 3 legendary hacky colors for this. Or you can ask someone who had them to activate these pressure plates. Then place the God's Chalice into this altar. And when you spawn in head to Hydra Island. and go into the waterfall. Defeat all these NPCs to open the door behind the water. Next, go into this secret door and enter the glowing door. After you enter you will get a holy torch and you need to light up 5 torches on floating turtle. Look for this pineapple attached to the tree. You have 5 minutes to do this, or the torch will disappear. After lighting all 5 torches you have completed this task, and now you can defeat the boss Langma any time you want. This door will now stay open, after defeating Longa you will get Tushita Sword.
Hey everyone. I will be showing you how to get the soul guitar. To get the soul guitar. You have to be level 2300 or higher. You can get the soul guitar doing this puzzle. First thing you need to do. Is pray at this great stone at haunted castle. To get the puzzle started. You have to pray during a full moon. This in game event can be recognized when you see. The light of a full moon peeks through in chat. After praying these candles around this grave should be lit. The next step is to defeat all the zombies at once at the red water. This took me a couple of tries. But I got it done as you can see this message pops up. Next, you need to go back to the graveyard. And run these signs the right way. You have to click on the side which has more gravestones. If you have done it correctly a message should pop up. Now you have to go and talk to the ghost. And we have to take note of these statues and trees. I took a screenshot. Now we go to the basement. And fill in the code using your own notes. The trees are blank. And the statues show the orientation. Next up align the color of the pipes in the basement. If you have done everything correctly a message will pop up. And now we are able to buy the soul guitar. With 500 bones 250 ectoplasm 1 dark fragment and 5000 fragments. Which I don't have time to grind. Hey everyone. I will be showing how to get Yama. This sword is required when getting the dual curse katana. To get the Yama Sword you need to complete 30 Elite Pirates quests. This quest is given by Elite Hunter in the Castle on the Sea. There are 3 different Elite Pirates. That randomly spawn in various locations. You have Diablo, Urban, and Dinda. They can spawn at Floating Turtle, Great Tree, Hydra Island, and Port Town. The quest giver will tell you where you should look for the Elites. Another thing you should know about is you need to do this quest solo. And if the elite die to other players the quest will be cancelled. I also recommend server hopping. Each elite has different abilities. Here is me fighting Urban. You also earn fragments for completing this quest. Here is me fighting. Dinda. Here is me fighting, Diablo. When you complete this quest 30 times, you need to go to Hydra Island, and go to the waterfall. 
there will be a door here, that you need to destroy with your observation break move. When this doesn't work glitch with shift lock and flash step in the room. Just click on the yammer in the stone and keep clicking. If you did not do the 30 quests the sword will kill you. But if you did you will obtain the yammer in your inventory. And this is how you can get the Yammer Sword in Blark's Fruits. Today, I will show you how to get it. How to get Dual Curse Katana. This is one of the best items in Blark's Fruits. To get the Dual Curse Katana, you have to be level 2200 or more. And you need to have Yammer and Tushita unlocked. And you need 350 mastery on those swords. If you got that you are set and you can start this puzzle. So first of all you go to Turtle Island and go to the Crypt Master. And enter the crypt. Here you find two scrolls with three trials each. For every quest, you will get an Alucard Fragment. So in the end you will have 6 Alucard Fragments. And you will unlock the Dual Curse Katana. These trails are random. So I will explain all of them. Pain and Suffering. Hold the and get killed by the ghost. In the Yammer Room on Hydra Island. Haze of misery. Kill enemies that have purple markings on them. You need to go and visit all islands. And check all NPCs this one was the hardest to do. Fear the Reaper. For this one, you need to roll a hollow essence. So you will need to farm a lot of bones. And roll the surprise every 2 hours. Make sure your trail is enabled when you do this. Now you need to get killed by the Reaper. Now light the three torches and defeat all enemies. Dot Legends. 
go to three islands, and talk with the NPCs and select the new option. Sense of duty. Participate in one pirate raid. Soulless. For this, you need to kill the cake queen fast. So you need some friends for this. And when you do, So you get teleported to Haven. And here you have to light 3 torches and defeat all enemies. Now you got 6 Aluka gems and you can unlock this door. After defeating this skeleton you will get the dual curse katana. I needed to rejoin, and now I have it. Hey everyone, I will be showing how to get Observation V2. There are a lot of requirements for getting this upgrade. You need Observation which you can get at C1. You need to complete the Citizen Quest, and obtain the Musketeer Hat Accessory, to start the Hungry Man Quest. You also need 5000 EXP on observation. To get this, you need to farm dodges. 5000 dodges to be exact. I think the start C1 is a very good place to farm this, because of the low amount of people that disturb you, and close NPC spawns. To farm observation, you spawn and go to the nearest NPC, and enable observation let him hit you for all your dodges and server harm.
you need to do this until you reach 5000 dodges. You can check this at the Lord of Destruction at the temple at Sky C1. It took me around 5 hours to do this. Next up go to C3 to Floating Turtle at the Pineapple Houses, and talk with this NPC. Now we have to collect 3 fruits across the map. The Apple. The Banana. And the pineapple. Now go to the citizen quest and he will put the fruit in a bowl. Now you can give this to the NPC in the pineapple house. He will teach you observation v245 million belly. And I have got observation v2. As you can see v2 grants better vision, and is less blurry. The range of which you can see enemies is larger. Faster dodge reload from 50 to 40 seconds. Now you also can see the weapons, fruit, and levels of players around you. Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to get Rainbow Hacky. You need to be above level 1950 for this. First of all, go to Floating Turtle. And talk with the Horned Man. Now you will need to kill a couple of bosses with the quest. Stone at Port Town. Island Empress at Hydra Island. Kilo Admiral at Great Tree. Captain Elephant at Floating Turtle. And beautiful pirate at floating turtle beautiful pirate domain. After you did this, you will unlock rainbow hacky color. And you can equip it at the color specialist. Also, you can equip Roblox packages, to make it look different. Hello everyone. I will be showing you, how to get superhuman fighting style, in Blox Fruits. For this, you need to be above level 700, and the requirements are as follows. 300 Mastery in Dark Step. Dark Step can be obtained in C1. You can get it at the Pirate's Village. Now you have to level it up to level 300. You will also need Water Kung Fu, which can be obtained in the Underwater City. And now you have to level up to level 300. Now you need the electro fighting style. This can be found at Skylands. And now you have to level it up to level 300. The last one is Dragon's Breath. This fighting style can be obtained at the second sea. 
next to the cafe. This fighting style needs to be leveled up to level 300 as well. If you have leveled up all the fighting styles to level 300 you're good to go. Now we have to go to the martial arts master. This NPC can be found at the snow mountain. In this secret tunnel. Superhuman needs to be purchased for 3 million belly. And this is how you unlock superhuman fighting style. This fighting style is needed in order to unlock god human. Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to get the god human fighting style in Black's Fruits. For this, you will need to be above level 1500. There is a lot of requirements. First of all you will need superhuman. So if you don't have that, watch my other video about how to get superhuman. Next up you will need death step. To get that you will need 400 mastery in dark step. Then you need to go to the second sea. Here you will need to unlock the library at the ice castle. The library key has a 10% drop chance from the awakened ice admiral. So you need to serve a hop and kill the awakened ice admiral until you get the key. After you open the library, you can buy dark step for 5000 fragments 2.5 million belly. The next thing you need is Sharkman Karate. First, you need to get 400 mastery on Water Kung Fu. Sharkman Karate can be obtained at the second sea. At the Forgotten Island you need to give him the water key. This key can be dropped from Tide Keeper. It has a 2% to 10% drop rate. This one of us very hard to get. After you get the key you give it to the NPC. He will sell you Sharkman Karate. For 2.5 million belly and 5000 fragments. And now you will need 400 mastery in water kung fu. Next up electric claw. For this, you need to have 400 mastery in electric. Now you go to floating turtle and talk to previous hero NPC. He requests you to go to the mansion in 30 seconds. Do this and go back to him. And now he will sell you electric. For 3 million belly and 5000 fragments. Now get 400 mastery in electric claw. Next up dragon talon. For this, you need to get the fire essence. From random surprises. And you can turn it in at Yuzeth at the Haunted Castle. Now you will need to get 400 mastery in Dragon Talon. Now we need some materials. 20 Fishtail. Which can be obtained from any NPC in Underwater City. 20 Magma Roar. Which can be obtained from... Military Soldiers, Military Spies, Magma Admiral, Magma Ninjas, Lava Pirates, in Magma Island, or Heart. 10 Mystic Droplet, which can be obtained from any NPC in Forgotten Island. 10 Dragon Scale, which can be obtained from Dragon Crew Warrior or Dragon Crew Archer, on Hydra Island. If you've got 400 Mastery and Superhuman, Death Step. Sharkman Karate, Electric Claw, Dragon Talon. You're good to go. Go to Floating Turtle. To the Ancient Monk. If done everything correctly, he will sell you God Human. For 5 million belly and 5000 fragments. And that's how you get god human in Black's fruit.
Go to C3. For this method, you need awakened magma and fishman race. For every sea beast, you get 200,000 on average. But finding them can take a long time. Here I got 620,957 in about 4 minutes. This next method is a chest run. For this, we need light fruit. In this run, I got 285,385 in 5 minutes. That's 3,424,620 in hour. This is by far the most reliable method and the best one. Hope this helps you all. By the way, this was calculated without 2x money game pass. I'll be showing you how to get the pilot helmet in Black's Fruits. So, first of all, you want to go to the third C. This item gives 130% more movement speed, 10% faster health regeneration, 250 energy, 250 health. In C3 you have to go to Port Town. We have to farm the boss named Stone. He has a 5% drop chance for the pilot helmet. I will be awakening doe fruit and finding out if it's better or worse. If you want to awaken doe fruit, you need to participate in doe raids. If you want to host doe raids, you will need to defeat the doe king and unlock the door in the library. And talk to the NPC. You can start doe raids every 2 hours. For 1000 fragments or a 1 million or more fruit, you will need to do a total of 6 raids to fully awaken though. You need 18,500 fragments for this. Now let's compare the awakened moves. Missile jab. Fried dough. Mm. 
Next. Scorching Donut. Roller Donut The Scorching Donut is faster and also deals damage to enemies. Next. Pastry River. Sticky dough. Next, piercing cloth as line. Carved dough. Next, dough fists. And we got a new move the M1 or the click move this is an extra move. And it's pretty good. Next. Doefist Fusillade. Restless Dough Barrage Overall the Awakened version looks great and the extra move is awesome. But some abilities take too long. Overall I think the Awakened Dough looks better and is better.